Hi everybody, this is Nathan with Rain Networks, and he, today we're going to talk a little bit about website filtering with your endpoint security software. As we're talking to uh, resellers and clients all the time, occasionally this topic comes up, and I find it interesting that a lot of times uh, people don't realize that within some of the common brands of endpoint security software that you can actually filter out what websites people are allowed to see um, and block ones you don't want them to see and do some pretty good stuff. And website filtering has become, you know, a really hot topic over the years because a lot of uh, websites is how users end up getting bad stuff on their systems. And so, hey, if we can stop them from going uh, to these bad websites, we can, you know, at the end of the day, curtail, you know, how many security threats we're going to have to deal with on our network. So I decided I would pick two of our most popular uh, software products, Bitdefender and ESET, and kind of go through what you would have to do in each software product to do website filtering. So let's first start with Bitdefender. And right now, uh, I'm logged into the Bitdefender Gravity Zone uh, control panel. And where you want to go is you want to go to policies, because essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make a policy, then we're going to go assign that policy to a computer. So I've uh, gone to policies, I've clicked uh, an add, and I'm at the spot of making a new policy. And the web uh, features are under this content control section right here. So you click on content control, you click on web, and then you want to check the checkbox here next to web access control and then click settings and this gets you into the key screen that's uh, going to allow you to dictate these settings so first of all the first tab that we get to is the scheduler so this is kind of cool i mean basically i could say hey between you know 7 a.m and uh, noon i'm going to have some very restrictive settings then from like 12 to 12 30 while people are having lunch i'm going to let them have a little bit more open setting um, and then I'm going to, you know, lock it back down after lunch. So, or, you know, I could just uh, make this for the whole day if I wanted as well. So you can choose to use the scheduler or not the, uh, or not use the scheduler. The more important section here is this category section over the top. So you click on categories and then you click on web categories filter. And then you want to click on where it says web rules down here at the bottom. Okay. And this gets you into the most important section. So this gets you into the category filters. And this is how most people do web filtering with the Bitdefender software. So by just uh, basically selecting allow or block on any of these sections here, um, I can utilize Bitdefender's database, which by the way, they maintain. It's a completely homegrown. This is a great, a great feature within their product here. And all I have to do is select allow or block within you know, these different categories and I can, you know, restrict web access. There's also, as you can see, a third tab for exclusions. So if I want to come in here and, uh, you know, make an exclusion to the rule, I can, I can always do that as well and click allow and hit save and off we go. So that's how we dictate web filtering within the Bitdefender policy. Pretty simple. From there, you go into your network and you assign the policy and away you go. And obviously you can have lots of different policies with lots of different levels of web filtering if you wanted. So it's not like you uh, you only get one policy. You can make as many policies as you want. You can have one for the accounting department, a different uh, policy for the marketing department, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe a different one for the executives. And so that's how easy it is to do. So, I mean, literally in 60 seconds, it's not uncommon that somebody could in 60 seconds come in here, make a policy and, and you're doing some great filtering at that point. So now let's look at how we can do it with ESET. With, uh, with ESET, we can do it either of two ways. We can do it directly on the machine, or we can also do it from within their management console as well. So I'm gonna kind of show you both methods. It's more or less the same, but I'll show you both methods. So let's start, first of all, from doing it from a policy. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new policy. I'll just call it test policy. And uh, the ESET policy creator is pretty cool. It uh, basically gives you a interface that is just like the interface on the client, which is kind of nice. So we're going to select our product here. So ESET product, security product for Windows. And then we get into the, um, 
you know, the settings, which is, this is very much what you'll see in just a second that you see on the actual client machine, which is very nice. You're going to go down to web and email and then web control. All right. And under this uh, section over here, under basic, you want to integrate into the system. You want to turn that slider on. Okay. And then we want to make a rule. So let's uh, click the add button here under rule. And why don't we make a uh, rule for, uh, say, gambling. Now, the way they do it is kind of one at a time here. So we're going to go ahead and say, uh, call our rule gambling. And then the type is going to be category based. And then under access rights, we're going to say block. We could also select warn or allow, as you see there. And then in the category, we're going to go ahead and obviously you see they have a ton of categories here. They actually have more categories than Bitdefender. Uh, we'll select gambling. And under user list, we could even do it by user if we wanted. So if we wanted to say, you know, hey, we're going to allow Joe to view gambling websites, but uh, Bob, we're not going to allow Bob to view gambling websites. We could even do that. And then we click OK. And here's our rule right here. And so if you wanted to do, uh, you know, rules for each category, that's uh, you make them one at a time and hit save. OK. And here's where we can dictate the blocked uh, web page message. So we could say, hi, Joe, uh, we don't allow that website at our company. Thanks. Right. And we could even put a little graphic in here if we wanted as well. So once I hit finish, then I've saved my policy. Then I just go uh, dictate that that policy is assigned to whatever computers we want to assign it to. Likewise, we can make the policy direct at the machine level as well. Pretty much, um, pretty much the same interface. When you go into your software, you go to setup, you go click the little uh, gear here under web control, okay? And you'll notice that the interface is exactly the same. So we click edit and we make our rule and it's you know it's identical to what we would do in the management console. That's one of the nice things that ESET does is they make the look and feel of the management console identical to the endpoint client. So anyways, as you can see, literally in minutes, you can make rules that can be applied very quickly to your computers to dictate how to do web filtering uh, with either Bitdefender or ESET. Okay, thanks a lot uh, for watching today. We'll have another uh, video shortly on another topic. Hope you enjoy this one, and uh, feel free to reach out to us at sales at rainnetworks.com if you have any questions.